Question number 17. Comment on the effective use of irony using any three prescribed text. In Across the Mongolo, the Nkemasa believes that Babajuru is powerful because he's educated, whereas he is an illiterate. This is the motivation that makes him to send Gwe to school at an early age. Ngwe and his schoolmates are told by the fat boys at the university that the University of Besad is a paradise. They study with the intention to be where the place where it, they are supposed to be. But when they arrive, the place, they realize that the place is neglected. Students don't have respect for one another. They don't respect their teachers. There is general disorder, corruption, and mediocrity. Shirila claims that she loves Ngwe, whereas she also dates Mr. Abeso because of material gratification, highlighting materialism. During student exams, invigilators who catch students with pre-prepared material, yet they can be seen in the evening with the same students sharing cigarettes because they have been bribed. In Lake God, the phone is a traditional ruler, yet his palace is dressed in a westernized fashion because of the influence of Father Leo highlighting cultural conflict. The women come to meet the phone to report to him about the destruction of their crops, hoping that he will seek solution, but the fawn is interested, is not interested in the plight of the women. He thinks that he will make the women to shut up by giving them some money, but they refuse to collect the money, highlighting corruption. In a walk in the night, Michael Adonis kills Mr. Doty, but Willie Boy is shot and killed for a crime that he does not commit, highlighting violence and man's inhumanity to man. Constable Rout visit Jolly Boy's social club, which is a gambling den, and Chips makes a joke with him which he does not like and he hits him hard on his jaw, making him to bleed. Ironically, before he leaves, he collects bribe from him, highlighting corruption and violence. During the manhunt for Willie Boy, Constable Rout meets Willie Boy at close range, unarmed. Yet, he shoots him rather than arresting him. In addition, he allows him to bleed in the van rather than take him to the hospital, highlighting man's inhumanity to man and violence, and at the same time, racial discrimination. 